today's question is, is the Rastafarian God or the Rastafari God the same as the Christian God? Do we worship the same God? Because, well, we use the, the same name, like Jah. And of course, we have Jah in the Bible. Do we worship the same God or is there something which we don't know? Now, first and foremost, you have to understand that the Rastafari movement or the Rasta religious movement originated somewhere in Jamaica, okay, in the year 1930s. And uh, Rastafarianism takes elements of the Bible and combines them with ideology uh, of Marcus Garvey and the belief that Haile Selassie I, or Haile Selassie the first who was the emperor of Ethiopia around 1930 to around 1975 was the second advent of the Messiah or the second coming of the Messiah therefore Rastafarians believe that Emperor Haile Selassie I was God okay now Rasta takes the term for God uh, takes his term for God Jah from the King James Version translation of uh, the Bible of the book of Psalms 68 verse 4. Let's go there and check. The Bible says, Sing unto God, sing praises to his name, extol him that rides upon the heavens by his name Jah, and rejoice before him. Mm -hmm. So now you see, we have the word Jah. It's written in the King James in the Bible. And... Um, of course, the, the Rasta movement, they always use this. But now, does this use of this biblical name make them that uh, they, they also believe in what we believe? What's the difference? Why, why are we not all Rastafarians then? Why aren't all Christians uh, putting on dreadlocks and doing all the things that uh, Rastafarians, uh, Rastafarians do? And I'm not saying that for you to be a Rasta, you must have a dreadlocks, no. Some, some people say being a Rasta is, is from the heart. But anyway, <laughs> now, what's the difference between these two? You see, the Bible says you shall know them by their fruits. That's number one. You have to understand by the fruits. What are the fruits of Christianity? What are the fruits of being a believer in uh, the God of the Bible? Because the God of the Bible leads us to Jesus Christ. He tells us from the Old Testament about the man Jesus Christ. All the Old Testament is showing us about a man to come who was called Jesus Christ. And when we see Jesus Christ, then we see the fruits of salvation. Now, number one, does the, the Rastafari movement portray those fruits? Do they portray those fruits? Do they talk about Jesus? No, they already talk about that their Messiah was uh, uh, Haile Selassie. I. So now Jesus and Haile Selassie, those are two different people. And uh, again, something else you have to understand, they don't believe in the triune God. They believe that God is only one, but is not triune, like the way uh, Christians believe. Christians, we believe that God is, is one with three different distinctions, like the way we are being created. We are created in the image of God. So how are we? We have the body, we have the soul, and we have the spirit. And God is likely the same way. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. God the Father being the soul, God the Son being the word or the body, and God the Holy Spirit being the spirit, all right? So they don't believe in that. They believe in only, uh, you know, uh, one God without the triune nature. So already those are, that's a, that's a difference, all right? And again, the Rasta movement, they also um, say that their Messiah already came. But when you see in the Bible what it says, if when the Messiah comes, the second coming of the Messiah, we're going to have world peace and he's going to rule the whole world. Have we seen that with Haile Selassie? No. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 7, of the increase of his government, talking about the Messiah, the Messiah who is to come, and peace, there shall be no end. So do we have world peace? No. Do we have a, a one world government? No. So this Messiah who came according to the Rasta movement, Haile Selassie, then I believe uh, is not the same one like the one that we believe as Christians. And again, of course, the Messiah, when he comes, he won't die. But we see when uh, Haile Selassie came, he lived and he died. 
So if he died, then the Messiah died. Then now there is confusion because he's not he's not living forever like the way the Bible says he's going to live forever. So you see, there is a contradiction here. And uh, of course, guys, you have to understand one thing: you can have so many people called George, but it doesn't mean he's the same guy. He's not the same man. So if all of us we say ja 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 ja. But it all comes down to the descriptions, to the fruits, to the understanding, to the breakdown of who is this Ja according to this group and who is Ja according to this group, all right? Because you shall know by the fruits. So the fruits of Ja according to Rastafarian uh, movement is very different from Ja according to Christian, all right, uh, understanding. So, guys, uh, I think this one made some sense. I'm not here to bash any group of movement. I'm just trying to make us understand what do different religions believe. And uh, once you understand that, then you'll be able to make a choice. Do I go with the uh, Rastafari movement or do I go with Jesus Christ and Christianity? Or do I go with Islam or do I go with Jehovah's Witness or do I go with whatever and whatever? And I'm going to be making more videos to speak about different religions and what they believe so that you can be able to understand.